Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be talking about Katie Manning confirming Doctor Who spin-offs as well as Disney Plus's efforts to already start marketing Doctor Who as well as a rumour of two festive specials upcoming for Doctor Who. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, I'd be very much appreciative of that. We are trying to get to 20,000 subscribers as quickly as possible, so any support would be greatly appreciated on that front. I also have a Kofi, which you can donate to if you like, it helps out the channel. But with that said, let's get into the video. Oh, and before anyone says anything, I will change the calendar over. I've just got to put some tape on it because that's how I flip my calendar over. Don't question it. But yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, the big news story last night, or the one that I found most interesting, is previous Doctor Who companion hints at future spin-offs. Speaking at the BFI screening of Sea Devils, Katie Manning, who played companion Joe Grant, and recently returned for Power of the Doctor, said that there are people returning and there will be spin-offs. The original source was Phoenix with Bread, so shouts out to them, and they did say that she implies she won't be a big part of it, but she just wants small roles here and there. So that basically confirms to me that there will be companion-centric spin-offs of some variety, because companions and doctors and all that, they speak to each other. So it's more than likely to me that we are getting spin-offs with companions, which is very, very cool. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe Mel, because she was in Power of the Doctor, and there has been rumours surrounding her involvement in the 60th anniversary, so maybe that's what she's referring to, but I could be wrong. There could be other plans in place. Personally, I'd love to see an Ace spin-off. I've always said an A Charitable Earth-based Ace spin-off with her a bit older, sort of learning to, you know, mentor these kids and kind of with some sort of fun energy would be a really fun spin-off. Yeah, I think there's a lot of potential in this and it more, more than, you know, confirms that we will be getting spin-offs in the future, likely with companions, but it could be, you know, even doctors as well. I suppose they would probably speak as well, maybe, although I'm more leaning towards companion-centric ones, judging by this because they probably all speak, and I mean, they probably all saw each other fairly recently for Power of the Doctor. So yeah, very exciting stuff. Our next news story of the day, Disney have started marketing Doctor Who. In a Disney store in London, they are selling copies of the recent Doctor Who magazine, or one of the recent Doctor Who books or magazines, which is, from the face of Doctor Who, Daleks, which is very cool. And then uh, someone responded with, we are one step closer to a big... Shooting out were inflatable as part of the Disney parade at Disneyland. And then someone responded, A friend of mine told me that there was a one second shot of the 60th in a Disney Plus TV spot a few nights ago. Also, there's a big future ahead for the show. Absolutely, 100%. So Disney are already on the warpath making sure people know what Doctor Who is. That's very, very exciting to me because that implies... They are in this for the long haul. They want people, as many people as possible, watching Doctor Who. Obviously, they've just made a deal to stream it, you know, internationally. So, it makes all the sense in the world that they would want to, you know, basically get their money back. So, absolutely, you know, put it everywhere. But it's just nice to see, you know, we're still about, what? Ooh, how many months are we? Like, seven months from broadcast, I think? Maybe eight? And, you know, we're already getting Disney sort of um, very, you know, cool sort of little hints towards their promotional stuff. It's just very exciting. And yeah, I cannot wait. So it's just it's just incredible really. I know some people have their hesitance towards the Disney Plus deal. Personally for me, I think it was kind of inevitable and I think it will benefit Doctor Who in the long run to be on such a big global stage. But that's just how I see it. But yeah. And then our final news story for the day Take this with a grain of salt, but Doctor Who production news is fairly reliable most of the time. I just saw some information online which suggested that there may be two Christmas specials. It might be a mistake, but it said Christmas specials, plural. So that could mean maybe a Christmas special and a New Year's special for Shooty, possibly. That's the only way I can see them fitting it, either that or like Christmas Day, Boxing Day, but they always feel too close together. Then again, there are rumours that the 60th anniversary will air over the course of, I guess, the one week rather than, you know, being split week to week to week. It'll be 23rd, 24th, 25th, I guess. You know, just in that bubble, for example. Which, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
But, you know, I'm not too sure on this report yet, just because, like, from what I've heard, it is a Christmas special and then Series 14. But, hey, they could have hit an extra one. The New Year special could be more of a formal start to Series 14 with the Christmas special kind of bridging the gap, kind of, you know, a Christmas invasion to New Earth type scenario, I guess. But that's about all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you. Thank <laughs> you.